Uh, they told me you were ill. <laughs> well, I, I get I'm better. Repeat again. Get better. Right. Frank Wolf. Frank Wolf. Yes, right. Hello, Mr. President. Good to see you. Well, I know we're all running behind schedule. Yep. Come on in yep. here, but thank you for seeing us. Jesse. All right. Subject that has to do with MFM. Yep. That's sure, right, Mr. President. We're grateful to you for uh, letting us come over and chat with you for a minute. Uh, I think both Jesse and I would really like to defer to Frank, but if I could just say a word to set the, the stage of, uh, of the uh, issue. Under Frank's leadership, the uh, House has passed an uh, amendment to the trade bill that suspends MFM status for Romania for six yeah, months. And uh, after seeing what the House did, uh, I put through an amendment uh, in the Senate that does the same thing. And the reason is because after extending MFN status uh, to uh, Romania, they haven't made, in our opinion, any credible showing that uh, they are uh, adhering to any reasonable standard of human rights practices. In fact, it seems to be getting worse. They're bulldozing churches. They're persecuting the uh, believers. They're uh, in, in virtually every way, in terms of publication, and travel, and harassment by the police, and so on, they're setting an atrocious example and certainly don't deserve any of that. So uh, I would like, with that, just to defer to Frank to tell you the status of it, and also a suggestion that he wants to make, which I endorse, and I believe Jesse does too, as a, as a way to, to perhaps uh, involve uh, your office in it and, and maybe to accomplish more with a less confrontational uh, That say. Mr. President, Joe Biden, how are you? Nice to see you. 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 Nice to Last time I sat here, Mr. President, you were just back in uh, 82 or 83. We had gone over with Bill Cohen over to the Soviet Union, and you were asking whether or not arms control could get back underway. I'm looking forward to helping you on that one in the Foreign Relations Committee. I'd be very happy to have that. <laughs> I think I'm looking forward to helping you on this one, too. Well, well bless your heart. heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice of you to come down. <laughs> I hope that be, uh, this hearing can be expeditious because of, you know, and I, I'm sure that we all feel the same way. Joe is very articulate. He can help write good speeches. Too. He's very convincing. I'm great at Kennedy speeches. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got some really good speech material I'd be happy to lend you. <laughs> oh, my. I, uh, we had a good meeting in my office, Mr. Preston, and I'm convinced that uh, Senator Biden and Senator Thurman are going <sighs> to. Good, yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah. Sir, may I introduce the new commander of the American Legion? Mr. President, nice to see you again. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Mr. President, Bob Spinelli. Good to see you again. Mr. President, no, you'll cry. Nice to see you again, sir. Pleased to have you here. Thank you. Now, Mr. President, the official reading, I guess, why we're here. I'd like to present to you the uh, full copy of all of our resolutions that was recently passed at our convention at San Antonio, Texas, on the positions of the American Legion on many matters, national security, national defense, and certainly drugs, and so many other items that uh, I know you're keenly interested in, and we want to be, say how proud we are to present these to you and know that you have the support of the American Legion in just about everything you do. Well, I thank you and for this continued support, and I know how supportive the you have all been, particularly with regard to Central America and all. Well, I'm going back there on December 6th to the 15th. Uh, if the last time we were here, we presented our PK report that you read in the October issue. As a member, I know you, you listen to that. But I'm going back December 6th to the 15th to speak to the very same people again to see how that peace plan is going to work and report back to you on my findings when at that time. I'll be looking forward to that. Also, I'd like to, at your own leisure, if you'll read this letter, this is a letter I've sent to the editor of the Washington Post today because of the uh, ridiculous statements they printed in the paper today, the day after Veterans Day, about castigating the 
Commissioner, the Director of Veterans Affairs, and, and why we should not name this a secretariat, which you are so much a part of as we are. And what they've said about the veterans of this nation tells me just about what's been happening. They only talk about us in good terms on Veterans Day and Memorial Day, and 363 other days a year, they really don't give a damn what we do. And, it, and it's sad that this came out the day after Veterans Day. They wouldn't dare print it yesterday. So I want you to see what uh, my answer to the uh, press. I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy reading. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I think you're thinking of telling the Post several times that I'm going to give up using them to line the canary cage. Well, you know, you know have the same problems I have, because remember, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> Mr. President, yeah, contrary to that, let me suggest to you, sir, that uh, we were so delighted with the action you took the day before yesterday with regard to this initiative. And we've heard so many, many supportive uh, uh, messages relating to that, and uh, we thank you. Well, listen, I'm pleased to do it, and I, I'm looking forward to the summit meeting and all. Maybe be looking forward to having them back to consult with you because uh, they're, we're, I, I think that we're going to, uh, if we manage to get that medium range treaty, uh, there's some people that are going to need a little persuading to we're, support the ratification. We're calling an emergency meeting on December 21st in our Washington office of that same committee that was in here reporting on Central America, and we're going to discuss the INF treaty and how we. How we can be helpful as we review it. Good. Uh, and secondly, how's our first lady? She's just fine. That's great. Before you run away, a little bit. three of you. Just... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hang on to it, it's oh. yours. <laughs> That's great. And, I know it's, and I know it's something that won't break. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. So nice to be with you. It's good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. I was with you for that beautiful evening on, uh, in the East Room that's going to come up on the 18th, my wife and I, and, and that was a beautiful evening with uh, Jerome Kern night, dear mom. Oh, you know something? something? I'm just looking forward to yeah. I that little another, dances there when they There's another woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that little girl. I thought that was a terrific thing. Thank you, Mr. President. See you. Thanks, sir. Here's a message you want. Thank you. Yeah. See you again. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Tom. The other one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. President, Dick, nice to see you. Very nice nice to to see meet you. you. Thank you. Right. This is Lorraine's mother. Hi. Nice yeah. to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. One photo together. Oops. What do we, can we oh, find each other? This is my brother. It'll be prettier if she's in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's got all the moves. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Carol Kawanami. Yes, yeah, have over there. Nice to see you. Sam Collin on me. Greetings. Greetings. Nice to have you. Here. Greetings from Orange County. Thank you. Orange County, California. <laughs> That's where all the good Republicans go before they die. <laughs> <laughs> this is Robert King. Mr. President, please. Nice to see you. Want you to know that these opportunities are important to our organization. Happy to take the time for this. I'm pleased to be of any help again. Fran Demelli, good to see you again. Nice to see you. Valerie Shields. Hello. Well, please, Dad. Rich Jacchetti. Nice to see you. See you. And Carol Kay. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have the you picture of the Christmas by. seals. Let's see if we can't get every, some of you on the other side. Do you remember me oh, with uh, Bob Wolfgang and... Uh, it was when you were governor, 60 yes. years. We had a sure. very short conversation. It was pretty good, though. Tommy <laughs> said something about you one day be a liberal, and he said, I used to be. One day you'll be a conservative. <laughs> Let's look at the camera. Maybe make sure that we know what we're talking about. Look at that. And, Come on uh, in. Do you want to get in here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is a lady. Very important. That's right. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're honored to be here. Thank you very much. I can't get that on an envelope. Yeah, not this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Mm. I need to get the, uh, the, oh, the, oh, the little doll. doll. The doll yeah. in this car. Put the doll in there. I thought that was for me. Basically, Candy Claus is the new character that will appear on our Christmas seal this year. And um, she is really, uh, according to the story, the product of the children of the world. And they have, she was created for Santa Claus specifically to be his little girl. Well, and so we're real proud of the fact that they were able to present this to you today. Well, thank you very much. Of course, we appreciate all that you do for Well, listen, for the I appreciate all that you do. <laughs> uh, that's 80 years. You know, it's 80 years the Lyme Association's been around. Has Tommy ever wonder how much good the Lyme Association have done in 80 years? I don't know at all. But we brought you some wine. <laughs> what, I don't know whether you drink uh, uh, you know, that old radical liberal wine. <laughs> yeah, this is my mom's favorite red, and mom's favorite white. And our, this is late harvest, and we have a wonderful uh, Cabernet. Uh, your wife likes wine, doesn't she? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoy yeah. it. No, uh, I would, you're sure knowing you. It's good. liberal wine, and I'm not sure. I was going to say, it's not you're a sure show. that it doesn't blow up when I pull no. it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brother, we've been doing it for 10 years. This is a sideline. It's Napa Valley, nice. Sonoma Valley. And, oh, that's great. And, uh, well, I think you'll love it. it. Anyway, thank you very much for the opportunity yeah. to meet you and help us. See if he can work this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that must be a political yo-yo. Yo -yo too, so I'll, I'll leave it over there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good thing when you know when you can. It's, 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 uh, it's kind of like transcendental meditation when you do the yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Okay, okay John. Is that a political yo-yo? Well, this yo -yo is an absolutely... Uh, work it. They don't work very well, though. They don't? <laughs> you can make it. What, is it government made? <laughs> <laughs> what this cost? It works good. Oh, Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it up. Ooh, that's monkey on a string. It's part of our, sh our app. We do a song about the state you of guilt. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is Drag the Dead Dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, well thank, you. thank you all. Am I wrong in, in uh, thinking that with that large one that, uh, that you brought some seals? Did mm -hmm. we bring, did you bring any uh, uh, seals. issued seals? Anybody? I have some that we will get to you, Mr. President. Well, we'll bring them all right, because I was prepared if you did okay. have oh. some. Oh, wonderful. There. Thank you very, very much. I will get the seals to you. <laughs> we certainly hope to you know, urge yeah. all Americans to uh, help the Lung Association yes. in the work that we do. And, uh, I know. Well, I'm kind of familiar with it. Uh, a few years ago when we were in California, uh, Nancy was the honorary state chairman for this okay, same great. campaign. So I'm a little familiar yeah, appreciate with it. Thank you so much. Well, this yeah, we will be sure to get those seals to you. Well, <laughs> thank you. I, I was just going to ask you, did your wife feel good? She's yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, that's terrific. Still has to rest a bit, which surprised her. <laughs> in fact, the, the doctor said, day after the operation, said she was way ahead of schedule on recovery. She's, she's done so day nice. after the operation, I was walking her up and down the corridor in the hospital. <laughs> but she's been so, such a good, she's been a great first lady. Yeah. I'm yes. very proud of her. Oh, I am. Yeah. If you don't want to drink that wine, just, just say no. Yeah, I held cast of the Navy. Yeah. That's, that's where it, that's when it all started. Yeah. No, we were married by that time. You were already. Yeah, and she had given up her career in order to mm -hmm. be my wife. Yeah. And, uh, but when that picture came along, and uh, I suggested to the producer they hadn't picked the leading lady yet, well, she played the the love interest there, and the it was based on an actual World War II experience. Our Navy sent a whole group of submarines through the mines into the Sea of Japan. Mm -hmm. where all the thing that was keeping the island going mm -hmm. was coming 
in the freighters, the ships across from the mainland. They all hit the bottom. They laid there, and on a given moment, the next day, all to the surface. Oh. And they brought down just millions of tons of shipping in mm -hmm. that thing, and it was called Operation Hellcat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this was the picture. But our memory of that picture is of a scene where now I'm going out on that mission, and my sweetheart nurse is there, and we are starting to say the goodbye, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, she started to cry. And we hadn't been married very long. <laughs> she started to cry, and then she knew what was happening to her, and she started to giggle, and then she cried. She would giggle and cry, we had to stop and wait, because uh, she kind of took it seriously about going away. <laughs> But that's terrific. Nowadays, you go to the acting school and you start crying like that. You're really relating well. <laughs> I did that in an acting class. They said, you know, we, you were going to die, and then this, all the guys were dying off, off this parachute jump. You had to come back and say goodbye to the one you loved the most. And I started crying because I was thinking, you know, to my brother. And, <laughs> and, I, and I really got into it. It gave me such a headache. I went out and got bombed. That <laughs> and I quit acting school. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Tom, all of that talk about what's an actor doing in a job like this, I've often wondered how anybody did it without him. Those <laughs> 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 senators are terrific speakers and actors. I said, they have, they have technique. <laughs> they got it. Okay. Yeah. Tell you, you write this for her, too. I certainly will. And I will enjoy the one. Thank you. I hope you all have a little nice question. Well, and the same. And again, thank you for what you're doing.